United against Brexit. Politicians from across the UK's political divide walked side by side at the head of a march attended by thousands. They arrived outside Parliament with one demand, a final vote on any UK exit deal. Among the demonstrators, members of Prime Minister Theresa May's own political party, committed to overturning Brexit. We want a people's vote, deal or no deal, and I think that's right. Look, it can't be right that 650 politicians sitting in Parliament, who are amongst themselves, as indeed our government and cabinet is, is divided on this measure. I think 65 million people in our country should have a vote on the final deal. The protest is part of what's being called a summer of action to put pressure on Britain's leaders. Two years after the UK's surprise decision to leave the EU, Britain is still at odds over the country's relationship with Europe. The country is fundamentally divided and I'm afraid those divisions haven't healed. And the reason for that, I think, is that since the referendum, I mean, we lost the referendum, that's a fact, but since then, Theresa May has governed as if all of these people kind of don't exist. And so what this is about is basically saying that we have to at least hold open the option that when she does come back with a deal, that the people are allowed to say, yeah, that's what we voted for. It's perhaps unsurprising here in London, a city that voted overwhelmingly to remain part of the EU, that there are such vast crowds at this demonstration. But what is surprising is that two years after the referendum and a year after crucial negotiations began between the EU and the UK, there is still so much anger and so much confusion. Public opinions remain largely stable since the referendum, despite increasing pessimism from businesses about what Brexit will mean for them. This week, the aeroplane manufacturer Airbus said that it would have to pull out of the UK if the government failed to secure a post-Brexit trade deal, putting thousands of jobs at risk. The UK faces a $50 billion divorce bill for leaving the EU, complications over its border with EU member Ireland, and a US president who might not be as welcoming about British trade as first thought. The world's changed since Britain backed Brexit. Only another vote, say these people, can correct past mistakes. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, London.